Denise Jenner and Supernova Adelaide 2017 is over and done with. I did not vlog this Supernova like I vlogged in Melbourne. Um, I just, but now I wasn't feeling it and I didn't want to force myself to do it. So instead I just had a really lovely time. I bought kind of a lot of stuff. I actually think I bought less than I did last year, which is probably a good thing. But honestly, all in all, it was an incredible weekend and I'm going to share with you guys the haul of stuff that I bought at Supernova and I'm really, really, really excited about it. So as always, first up, I'm going to go with the things that I got signed for by celebrities <laughs> and photos that I had taken. So the first one I'm going to show you is an autograph from Graham McTavish who of course plays Dougal McKenzie on Outlander and he also plays one of the dwarves on The Hobbit and I believe he plays Balin but I don't want anyone to quote me for that because I'm not entirely sure. Okay, it wasn't Balin, it was Dwalin. So it was Balin's brother. So I was close, I was very very close. And so because I am collecting them I got him to sign this photo so I've got a lot of the ones that are in the same and it just says Jenna at your service Graham McTavish so I'm pretty sure that he's like the one in the movie who's like at your service all the time so that was really cool and that mm, moped is so annoying but again window is open because it's so stuffy in here. So getting to talk to him was really lovely and it was weird to find out that he's actually not Scottish or at least he didn't have a strong Scottish accent or I'm so used to him having one with Outlander so that was that was a little bit of a shock I'm not gonna lie I wasn't quite expecting that to happen. My sister and I were also fortunate enough that we got to meet Stan Lee, uh, you know, creator of all things Marvel and amazing. So this is a photo of us with him. Uh, can you tell from my face that I was super, super excited to meet him? I mean, he's just, uh, it just makes me so happy to think that like I met Stan Lee. Like what? I met Stan, I can't stop. I met Stan Lee, like, oh my goodness. And he was hilarious. He crashed James Masters panel. So James Masters plays Spike on Buffy, but also he is going to be in the new Marvel TV show The Runaways, which I haven't had a chance to watch yet, but I'm really looking forward to. So Stanley like crashed his panel and came in and was like, I just want to like officially welcome you to the Marvel Universe. And then he left and even James Masters, he was standing there and he's just like, did that just happen? Like I'm totally fanboying right now and because we were all fangirling too because like that's amazing! It was really expensive to meet Stan Lee but like worth every penny because this is something that I will treasure forever. <laughs> if you've been following me on social media or here on YouTube for any amount of time you will know that I am absolutely obsessed with Stranger Things. Like ridiculously, probably so obsessed that it is actually harmful to my health. I met Millie Bobby Brown at Supernova and she signed the photo as well and um it was one of the most amazing experiences of my life. It was really interesting though, I've never met someone this young before so it was just really different and interesting to see how they were very conscious of the fact that she's only 13 and they reminded us many times to make sure we were conscious of the fact that she was only 13. But also she's a 13 year old who's taller than me. Look at this, she's dipping her head and she was like the tiniest bit taller and it's a little upsetting for me because I'm so short. But also I met Millie Bobby Brown so I am very much have been like riding on a kite up high in the clouds for the past couple of weeks because like I met some amazing people but like I met, I met 11. Oh this is so exciting and I'm so happy. <laughs> Next up we're going to talk about the books that I got. First up I'm going to show you the four books that I actually brought from home because for once I actually knew the authors that were coming which was really exciting so I had these four books at home and I brought them along and I got them all signed because I am obsessed with them. That is the 400 books which means that I met Cass Morgan the author and she was so lovely she signed every single one of my books. Ah! Haha! Ha! ha. I knew it! I knew it wasn't a thing! I knew it wasn't a thing! Okay, just for a little bit of context here, I've been having an argument with, well not an argument, but I've been having like this debate with my friends about where authors sign their books. Apparently they always sign it on the second page, but I'm like, no, I swear they don't always. And bam, Kaz Morgan signed on the first page. I knew it, I knew it was a thing. Anyway, little just, that was a bit of a sidetrack, but going back to the main point of this video, the book says, for Jenna, it was so much fun meeting you, XOXOKM. Her signature's kind of like a little bit weird, but I mean, you know. Yeah. Also, she was so funny, like really funny. I'm so glad I got a chance to meet her. I then got the second book, Day 21 signed, and this one, which she also signed on the first page, says, For Jenna, your support means the galaxy. XOXO. 
KM, which was oh, just so cute. I also got the third book signed, which says, okay, okay, this time she signed on the second page, but that's because the first page was just praise. This one says, for Jenna, it was such a pleasure meeting you. Thanks for making me feel so welcome at Supernova. And the last book, Rebellion, also on the second page, but because of praise. For Jenna, thank you for your great, thoughtful questions. It was awesome chatting. And that's because during her panel, I asked a couple of questions that I really wanted to know the answers to. And it was just lovely. And yeah, meeting her was definitely one of the highlights of the weekend and was one of the reasons I was so excited for Supernova this year. So I got another five books at Supernova. Only four of them were signed and two of them are actually from the same author. So we're going to go with that author first. So some of you might remember in my Melbourne Supernova wrap up that I told you that I met Kerry Arthur or in the vlogs that I did. Yeah, I met Kerry Arthur who is a really successful Australian urban fantasy author and one of her books, Blood Kissed, I got a signed bookmark of it. See? Signed bookmark. And I got this because the book wasn't out in when I was at Melbourne. But it's out now so I bought it and I'm really 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 looking forward to reading it. Kerry Arthur gave me a sticker? Bookmark? Bookmark for the sequel of it which Super exciting, keen to see that or read it. Signed it to Jenna, lovely chatting to you at Supernova Adelaide. And I'm really, really, really looking forward to starting this book. I cannot wait. I also bought City of Light from her, which she signed again. And it said, to Jenna, hope you enjoy Tiger's story, Supernova 2017. So I'm guessing this is about a character named Tiger. I literally know nothing about any of these books that I bought, but after talking to the authors over the weekend, I just couldn't help but pick up a couple of their books. I'm really excited to get to finally read them. Although, as you all know, I have a thing about reading books from Supernova authors. I do really struggle to finally pick them up. Um, but, you know, I mean, I'm sure I'll read them eventually. I also got The Summon Stone by Ian Irvine. He was a really interesting author to get to listen to. And after listening to him talk about his fantasy novels and that sort of thing, I was really interested in picking one of them up. So I went on Goodreads and I kind of had a little bit of a sass about what book I should start with. And then I ignored all of that and I bought this one. So he signed this one for me and it says to Jenna happy reading and then his very scary looking signature like it's just all over the page it's actually terrifying I don't know anything about this book I don't know anything about any of them and I'm sorry but I'm not going to tell you because I don't see the point hold on let me see can I figure this out basically it's just an epic fantasy and I'm really looking forward to reading it and then the last book that I picked up was one that Tori from the YA circle said that I really definitely needed to pick up especially if I really enjoyed science fiction which I do and that is Killing Gravity by Corey J. White. This is a very short little novel and I don't know anything about it at all but I've been told by multiple people that it is absolutely incredible. As soon as someone mentioned the word Firefly to describe it, I was I was all over that so I definitely picked this one up. It is signed and it says Dear Jenna, Galaxies Can't Shed Tears and he also did like a bit of a stamp. I don't really get the stamp and then I also got a little card thing to remind me that the second book is coming out in early 2018 which I'm very very excited about and I cannot wait to pick this one up. The last book that I picked up is kind of a different one and it's not one that I had signed and that is the psychology workbook for writers so it's also got a little bit of a bookmark because the author of this actually writes books but I picked this one up because I was flicking through it and it has like worksheets in there about how to build your character and a lot of it is about um pretty much it's all about character and it's about like building the characters you know and story why do they do this why do they do that and this is something that I'm really interested in for my own writing so I picked it up and I'm really excited to get a chance to delve into it and definitely use some of the worksheets on my existing characters in my work in progress to make them the best characters they can possibly be. So I only bought a few books this time, only five, which I think is pretty good. And I actually didn't buy that much else. I have one thing that I got for free, four pop vinyls and some drawings that I bought and that's it. So I bought nothing this Adelaide compared to last Adelaide. Even compared to Melbourne, I've bought nothing this time around. I'm really proud of myself because I need to save money. So I'm going to show you the drawings that I got. I also I actually got them signed by the author as well, Stuart McKinnon, because I've seen his work around different supernovas and comic cons before and I've absolutely fallen in love with them. I just never got around to buying one, but I finally did. So I bought two plus I bought one for a friend for Christmas. So I won't be showing you that one because just in case she watches this video, then she'll know what she's getting for Christmas. So the first one I want to show you is a little A4 one and it is a wash and doesn't it just look look absolutely phenomenal like it is 
stunning and I love it so much. It's got a little quote down the bottom which says, curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal, which is of course one of my favorite quotes from Wash on the entire thing and I just love it to bits. I'm so glad that I finally bit the bullet and purchased his art because it is actually phenomenal and beautiful and I'm not sure where I'm gonna hang it in my room yet but I'm sure I'll find somewhere. I also bought an A3 size of Dr. Leonard McCoy bones from the Star Trek series and it is the new Star Trek so it is Carl Urban who I am a little bit a lot obsessed with and that quote is damn it man I'm a doctor not a physicist which of course is something that he says quite often in the movies and I just really enjoy it I think it is absolutely gorgeous again it's so beautiful kind of like really lifelike and I'm just in awe of how beautiful this work is and I cannot wait to hang it somewhere but once again I have no idea where I'm gonna put it once again my friends and I stayed right up until the end of the day on Sunday so we got free things so we got a free I heart Stanley badge that was fun I enjoy getting badges like this because they're cute and free and pointless but now I have three of them so yay and of course just like every supernova I bought myself four pop vinyls so I'm going to show you what they are now the first two pops I'm going to show you probably come as no surprise to any of you considering how obsessed I am with this show and that is Max and Joyce from Stranger Things I really wanted like the original cast but they didn't have any and the only ones they did have were like of them as Ghostbusters and I was like mm, yeah now nah, I'm not into that so I got one of Max and I got one of Joyce and they're just so cute and I can't wait to like put them out of their box which I know yes is terrible you're supposed to leave them in the boxes but no so I love them I'm really excited to put them up somewhere on my bookshelf and I just I need more of Stranger Things so you know mum dad family if you're watching this I want Stranger Things pop vinyls for Christmas please and TY I also picked up Clark from the hundred I'm kind of collecting the hundred pops now apparently so I picked up Clark she looks adorable she's gonna sit with Octavia and Bellamy over here you can see Octavia you cannot see Bellamy but he sits over here by my hundred books and now of course I have them all signed which I think is one of the reasons why I picked up Clark because I just met the author who created her I love Clark and I really love this pop vinyl again she's kind of dirty though which I love I, I really like pop and the last pop vinyl that I picked up was a 2017 summer convention exclusive, so I figured, why the hell not? And that is Clara from Doctor Who. I love Clara. She's definitely, well, I mean, she was my favorite companion, and then season nine happened, and she's still really up there, but season nine kind of ruined her for me, like, a lot, and now I'm, like, obsessed with Bill, but I also really love Clara. She's always going to have a really soft spot in my heart, so I bought this one, and I don't regret it for a second. <laughs> So there you have it. That is my supernova haul for 2017. It's kind of really small. Well, my Adelaide 2017 supernova haul. It's kind of small compared to my previous supernova hauls, but that's probably not a bad thing because I do spend a lot of money at supernova. But I mean, it's something that comes around like once or twice a year if I go to two, like I'm planning on doing it next year. But also another reason why I bought Clara is because they announced that their first guest for Melbourne next year is Peter Capaldi. And he, I am like obsessed with the 11th Doctor. He's literally my my favorite so I was kind of in a bit of a Doctor Who mood. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments section below. I don't know if you've read any of the books that I picked up. If you go to any, okay actually no. Let me know in the comments section below if you have been to any conventions this year and let me know what you got. I would absolutely love to know. If you like this video be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. Stay random. Bye.